Good morning. Today is Thursday, May 9th, 2013, and today we have footage that connects us from the Promised Land Clover patch to the construction back on Galbraith Road, forensically reconstructed from the phone that crashed into the sidewalk during the bicycle accident a couple weeks ago. The crash ruined my bicycle and my good winter coat. Didn't do my hands and face a whole lot of good either. So without any further ado, I'm going to speed right through the first seven minutes of footage in order to get straight to the site of the crash. Here's the geographical benchmark at the top of Galbraith Road, so we're prepared to drop out of warp drive. And that, my friends, is pretty much where the recording ends. Can you do? I picked myself up and couldn't stop trailing blood everywhere, so I got myself home, walked my bike home to get myself bandaged and cleaned, and then I couldn't lay around at home either because I was obsessing over what happened to the one button missing from my winter jacket. So it's a good thing that I went out there. I couldn't stay there an hour before going out looking for it, and it's a good thing I did. OCD can be a good thing at times. Returning to the scene of the accident, it was easy to find where my face had left an imprint on the sidewalk. Right there was the winter coat button I was so obsessed with, and not far down the hill was the phone case that I had modified into a camera mount, not far from my bifocals, which would have cost me a pretty penny, and my bloody track phone. What would happen, I had a doctor's appointment already scheduled for the morning, and I may as well show up, and um, she refilled my prescription and saw the saw the bandages and said, oh, road rash? Well, I'll give you some, or I'll recommend you take ibuprofen for the abrasions, and I'll have my nurse change the dressings. It, when the nurse came in, you know, she peeled off the bandages and said, oh my goodness, I didn't even anticipate needing half of these supplies, and I'll have to come right back. Um, I had to be back in, within a week because it's kind of handy having the skin on your left hand and getting painkillers. And um, when the nurse, when the doctor herself actually took the bandages off and saw for herself the injuries, she said, Oh, well, remember what I said about ibuprofen? Uh, forget I ever said that. Uh, we're going to get you prescribed some topical antibiotic cream and some oral antibiotics and some Tylenol with OD. So I, uh, that'll be <laughs> So all in all, I'm still pretty fortunate. I've got my glasses back, phone back, I've got, uh, my face is largely healed, and I've even got skin back on my left hand again, that's handy. Um, my right hand, not so well, it's gonna leave a permanent scar, but, um, you know, you gotta do what you can. So this is Joel Twisty Nye, wishing you happy trails. I hope to see you next week.